Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and I'm here to read you a book called The Invisible String. I really like to read this book when I'm missing someone special that I can't see. And a lot of you might be missing somebody special right now. Maybe it's a grandparent, maybe it's a friend at school, maybe it's an aunt or an uncle, but I think we're all experiencing that feeling right now and missing someone we love. So The Invisible String by Patrice Karst, illustrated by Jeff Stevenson. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep on one calm, quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just a storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know, we're always together no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out there and we're in bed, as asked Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart, and you can always know that you are connected to everyone that you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug at my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, mom said. Would it reach me even if I were in a submarine, captain, down in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber? Even there. A ballerina in France? Even there. A jungle explorer? Even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger and as long as you there is love in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or who gets to ride in the front seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their bed. Within a few minutes, they were asleep. And even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside, as they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. So that book talked about connections to people we love. And what I like to do is I like to have a physical reminder of those connections. So here I have my invisible string. And what you can do is you can pick beads or you can make things to put on your invisible string to remind you of the people we love. 
this one, this will represent my Grammy. And this one here, that'll represent my friend who I can't see right now. And every time you're missing that person, you can tug at your string. Thank you for watching, and I'm wishing everybody happiness and health.